Hey guys, Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we are going to start our first episode on the watch list series, and we are going to discuss how we can move the RSI study from the chart and put it onto a watch list so that at a glance of all your favorite stocks, you can determine whether or not they are overbought or oversold or just somewhere in the middle. Um, basically, what's going to happen is going to pretty much turn out to look like this, where you have indicators that um, will change the background to green if it's oversold or if it's overbought it will go ahead and change it to red and basically let you know that they are overbought so let's just go ahead and jump right into it and what we're going to do is come right over here to this little cog in the corner i'm not sure if you guys can see it um but you're going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to go ahead and click on customize it's going to bring up this window right over here now you want to go ahead and type in custom because you you have about 15 custom scripts that you can write at any given time i've already used up all mine and uh, the current one that I, you know, I'm using a default one that I threw over here. But what you would do is simply click on it, click on add items, and it's going to bring it right on over here to your your watch list, your watch list current set. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and click OK. And a window should pop up, and the window should look something like this. Um, once that does take place, go ahead and come right over here to where it says delete. And let's get rid of whatever formula, whatever condition they already have in here for you. All right, now right over here, there's a thing script editor. I just want you to go ahead and click on that. And we are going to go ahead and start and write some code. Now, it's up to you. If you want, you can just jump down into our Discord and pick up the script itself, um, whether the code or the actual script, because on TOS, you can share them. But if you want to walk, you know, kind of come along with me, then we will work this out together. Okay. So, first, we're going to go ahead and define the RSI overbot. And that is going to be equal to the RSI. So when the RSI is equal to or above 70. No. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, define the oversold. RSI oversold equals RSI. And that will be less than or equal to 30. Because that is the oversold condition. And then we are going to go ahead and just define the value of the RSI. And this is just pretty much just going to give us the constant so that we know our the, the variable so we know exactly what it is at all times in case i'm going to show you a few different methods you can use on your watch list to see which one you prefer all right so let's go ahead and plot that plot value we're going to go ahead and put that as the rsi val we're going to go ahead and test it right now just to make sure things are working correctly and go ahead and click apply so right over here in your custom column um, some values should start showing up. And these values should reflect the RSI um, at the current time. So this one says 85.23. And as you can see right over here, 85.23. Um, if we click on anything else, we should probably get the same thing. Zoom, 28.93, 28.92, it's rounded up. So uh, we can see that it's actually working. Now, what we wanna do is go ahead and determine whether how, how we want this to look. Do we just want to keep the values present in the watch list and then change the backgrounds or do we want to do something like this where we actually just change the text? We'll go over both, we'll go over both method, methods right now for you and uh, you select the one that you'd like to keep, all right? So we'll go back over here to the column itself. Uh, click on custom one, click on edit formula. If you wanna change the name of it, you can do so right up here. Whatever you wanna change it to, that's up to you. And what we are going to do now is assign a background color. And what we want to determine is if RSI over bot is true, then we want the color to be what? So if it's over bot, we want it to show red because that's when you're probably looking to go short. We're looking for an entry to go short. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use dark red. Uh, else if we'll say RSI oversold is true. And then we want to what? Well, we're probably looking for a long entry, right? So let's go ahead and go color uh, dark green. And there is an array of colors that you can use, um, an assortment of colors, I should say. And if you want to, you can just Google them, TOS colors, and it'll, it'll pop up for you. If, if not, you can always just go back in your code. And when you type in color, 
you'll get the colors right here. I prefer the darker ones simply because they look better. Um, but that's up to you, whatever you like. Okay, and then basically if there, if neither of those conditions are met, well then I just want to keep the current, keep the current background, whatever it is. Okay, so we'll go color.current. We'll go ahead and close that out. Make sure all the code looks good and we'll go ahead and hit apply. All right, so we can see that it's working. Uh, let's cl click, click down here, we're 61.42, somewhere in between 70 and, or 30 and 70. And because there's neither conditions are being met, it's just keeping the current background color. If it is in an overbought situation, it is highlighting red and it is in fact changing the background color. So, I mean, that's nice also. And it's, you know, again, if it's oversold, it's changing to green. Now, if you want to change it to look like this, we have the overbought or oversold. We can go ahead and jump right into that right now. Again, that's, that's personal preference because not all, not, not everybody's going to run the exact same, uh, watch list style. Sometimes in my watch list, I don't mind crushing these just so that I can see the colors only. Like if you, if you begin to move this all the way over, it begins to flatten the columns out and in which case you may only see just the colors of the blocks of the background. Um, and visually, I mean, you don't really need much more to tell you that, Hey, you know, this column, if you know that you've set it up a certain way, you know, that first column is your RSI, the second one's stochastics. So when certain conditions are met and certain colors are visible, then you know that certain things are taking place in the stock. Okay. And we are going to change. We are going to add some conditions to change the, the text. Okay. So if we added a label, we want it to always show. And then we want if RSI OB is true. And then we want it to say overbought. Else, if RSI oversold is true, then we want it to say oversold. And if it doesn't, if it's neither, then you know, let's just put a little dash because that's that works, just keeps it clean, makes it look nice. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. All right, so basically, what we got is the exact same thing that we started with in the beginning of this, of, of this video where I showed you. Um, pretty much the overbought and oversold conditions. And that's what we have now. Now let's say you want to keep the overbought and oversold just because you, you like it as well as the value. We'll go ahead and take a look at that as well. Go back into the thing script editor. And when we come back over here to the overbought, we'll just go ahead and add the value, the RSI val, and then right over here to the oversold, we'll go ahead and add that as well. RSI now. And then we'll go ahead and put a little space in there. And this one, we'll take that out and we'll just go ahead and add RSI now. All right, take a look at that. So there you go. So now we have overbought as well as the value, oversold as well as the value, and initially just the value as is. So I hope that helped you guys out today in this watch list tutorial on getting the RSI transferred from your chart over onto your watch list. Again, I use it all the time. I don't, I don't prefer to have 100 charts up. I do prefer to have one of my watch lists on a separate monitor at which I can monitor at all times. And what I do is I pretty much have everything that you see up here laid out. I'll go over these really quickly with you, just in case there's something in the future that you'd like to see a video with. Um, this one right here is an earning statement. It pretty much tells me how many days out I have until earnings for that particular underlying. Uh, this one is a standard deviation within seven days, uh, just because I like to know how, how much my stock is more than likely going to move. This one right here is the true range for the day. It's pretty much just the high and low of the candles for the day. So I can know how much the, the stock actually moved or the underlying actually moved within the time frame, uh, within the day's time frame. This is the ATR. I have a true range within seven days. Uh, this is a gap list. It's something that I'm kind of working on at the moment. So I really won't get into that. This one right here is the RSI. Pretty much the exact same thing we just built. This is a stochastics cross. It pretty much tells me whenever... There is a cross taking place um, in the overbought or oversold conditions, as you can see here. 
This is the Bollinger Bands. There's nothing that are up into the Bollinger Bands at the moment. This is the MFI, the Money Flow Index. This is a cycle that kind of just shows me if it's accumulation, distribution, acceleration, or deceleration. Um, just kind of let me know what kind of momentum we're getting for that particular underline. Again, the Money Flow Index, this one right here, is actually just true value. This this one I should have stated is a is a mixture of about two or three different scripts to determine if all the conditions are being met. And if they are, in fact, being met, then it hits me with a buy or a sell signal. Uh, this is the ADX, just so I can track how it's trending. And this is just a nine day EMA that pretty much tells me if certain conditions are met, whether or not, you know, based off my, just my trading style, um, you know, to take a buy or take a short. So again, I hope these, I hope this video helped you out. If you want to see something on one of the listed above, please let me know. Um, I'll be making and posting more videos on things like this here in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If not, uh, feel free to jump down in my Discord. It's a small uh, group of traders that are looking to improve and assist others with the trading styles and methods. So I look forward to hearing from you guys all. Until the next time, take care.